What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Island Gaming with G. Today that we have just a few new stories for you guys. Today we'll be talking about the VG charts, uh, the sales ending um, July. Then we would speak about Nintendo giving us a little update um, concerning the Nintendo Switch. Um, in addition to that, we'll talk about Capcom releasing their sales update um, for the last quarter. So let's get right into it. But before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's get right into it. First up, if we were to look at the VG Charts estimates ending July 23rd, we see that the Nintendo Switch would have beaten all the competition in all the markets. Um, however, the PS5 has surprised um, us by coming very close to the Nintendo Switch. Um, even beating it in a switch in some markets like Europe. Um, however, the Xbox has dropped a bit from prior weeks and months, um, but no doubt that should increase as more major titles come out for the Xbox and the consoles become more available for the Xbox. But we're seeing Sony is doing rather well, um, you know, keeping the competition going, keeping that momentum going so that, uh, you know, the other consoles could also step up their game to, for more consoles to sell. So well done Sony. Next up let's talk Nintendo. After most of the industry and most of uh, the fans did not believe that the Nintendo Switch would, would sell anything, um, Nintendo has surprised everyone. Um, recently they reported that the Nintendo Switch reached a milestone of 111 million consoles beating back uh, juggernauts like the Wii and um, the Nintendo 64, the NES and so forth. Um, based on our records we see that there are only two other consoles that Nintendo have to beat um, to be the best selling Nintendo console but it's a, it's a big feat which is the Nintendo DS and the, the Game Boy. So we'll see how Nintendo does when it comes to that. If you was to compare the Nintendo Switch to other consoles like the PS2, you see Nintendo would need to sell just about 50 million consoles to overtake the PS2 and become the number one selling home console ever. Um, do you think Nintendo could do it? Did you believe that they would have reached so far? Let me know in the comment sections. And finally, Capcom would have put out their sales report for the first quarter and it's very impressive uh, we are seeing here Monster Hunter World is at 18.3 million um, RE7 is at 11 million and Monster Hunter Rise is at 10.3 million um, we also have to note that Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is at 2.5 million now this is some impressive numbers uh, Capcom has been doing well in the past few uh, months and even within a year they would have been um, you know gained traction um, you know with gamers all over the world so we have to note however that Monster Hunter Rise being a, a Nintendo exclusive a Switch exclusive um, sold well it sold like more than 8 million copies exclusively on the Switch eventually it came out on the PC and that is where it amassed and went over the 10 million mark but just that one exclusive game on the Nintendo Switch, third-party game um, to add, sold extremely well on the, on the Switch. Now, that is even better than Horizon Forbidden West and Gran Turismo. Two AAA games with high graphics and, you know, better visuals. This goes to show that Monster Hunter Rise and software on the, on the, on the whole on the Nintendo Switch is stronger than ever. This no doubt would entice more third-party developers to develop for the Switch. Let me know what you think about that. Like and subscribe for more videos. Later.